Welcome to the Centerville Elementary Podcast for the month of April. It's hard to believe that we're there already. Uh, this month, we're going to talk about uh, the important dates for the month. We have a lot going on in April, but also talk with Mr. Halk and Mrs. Burns about the Night of the Arts that's coming up on April 4th and hear about the performances that their students are going to have and the different art projects that you'll see around the building. Okay, I'm here with Mrs. Burns and Mr. Hauk, and they're going to share with us some information about the art show that's coming up. Uh, Mr. Hauk, what is the theme of your spring concert this year? The theme of the spring concert this year is music around the world. And so does that mean the students will be singing in different languages? Mm -hmm. Yep, we got a lot of different languages uh, we'll be singing at the concert, including Haitian Creole, Spanish, French, Japanese, and we have a little bit in other languages as well. And so is there one song that the students seem more excited about than others? Uh, fourth graders are really excited about a song by the band Panic at the Disco. Uh, they're really pumped to sing that one. Um, the third graders are singing a song from Moana that they really enjoy. Uh, one of the third graders actually came to me with lyrics that she had changed to make it a little bit more relevant for us since we don't live uh, by the beach. So she kind of switched some of the lyrics up, which I thought was very, very cool. Um, and then the fifth graders are also singing a song from a recent film, and we should have uh, at least one special guest singing with us for that one. Very cool. Uh, Mrs. Burns, can you share with us what are the educational benefits on having the school-wide art show? Well, um, the display of work is one of the, uh, the national standards of visual and performing arts, but I feel it's also important for students to understand um, patience and perseverance to sustain a work of art. So in other words, um, you know, this idea that we're putting up work that we're proud of and we have um, a good feeling about and also valuing the art making of others is um, an important part of having a school-wide art show. So when you're putting this together, what would you say are the most important elements when you're getting everything ready? Um, I consider um, first and foremost making sure that everybody's represented. Uh, so there's two pieces from every student. Um, I typically have a two-dimensional and three-dimensional work of art, um, oftentimes ranging in medium. So um, we try to do stuff with paint and clay and varying materials. Um, I try to make sure that it's definitely authentic child-generated ideas. Um, <clears throat> so. So when <laughs> that's okay. So when um, when you're putting this together, are there any challenges that you run into in, in putting something together that's that's this large? Um, one of the biggest challenges um, is the completion factor. Um, students obviously work at varying paces. Uh, we also have art once every six school days so um, if we happen to miss one cycle of art then it's once every 12 school days um, thus you know from within one month you might only have art once or twice um, so just trying to get groups of students to complete work and also individuals um, in terms of working at different paces um, another uh, the management of the work is another logistical issue but luckily we have a lot of great parent support especially Tracy Banzoff. She's been a huge help the last couple of years in organizing the Sign Up Genius as well as um, just putting up lots and lots of stuff. So would you say um, with the out of the entire art show, is there one thing that is like your favorite project that you've had the kids work on this year? Um, I've been really excited about, I did a printmaking lesson with fourth grade this year. Um, and it has evolved. Um, that's kind of my favorite type of lesson when, when students sort of begin to um, they're starting to stitch and paint into their work and write into their work, so it sort of became its own animal, and it's it's been quite exciting to watch. So, okay, well, thank you both for coming. Um, the art show is April fourth at six thirty. If you're looking to come, you can come uh, throughout the evening to look at art around the building. It's in all the hallways. Um, there's a lot of displays up, and Mr. Howe's students will be singing in the gym area on the stage uh, throughout that time frame. Uh, so we look forward to having you attend that evening. If you have any questions, please reach out. I know you can reach out to Mrs. Burns or Mr. Hauk or the office uh, and ask away if there's anything that you need to know. We have a lot going on in the month of April. Uh, as we already talked about, the art show, again, I'll just reiterate, is on April 4th at 6.30. Please feel free to come uh, throughout the evening. Um, also then on the 8th at 9.15 in the morning, we have PTO. 
Uh, our kindergarten screening is happening this month uh, on the 5th, the 9th, the 11th, or the 12th. So if you have an incoming kindergartner and you have not scheduled an appointment, please reach out to the office to do so. Um, we also have PSSA testing this month. Um, the dates for the English language arts is the 15th through the 17th. The math is the 24th and the 25th. And science is the 29th and 30th. And science is for fourth grade only. We also have a couple days where we have early dismissal on the 18th. That's at 1.30. And then no school on the 19th on the, and the uh, 22nd as well. Um, if you have any questions about anything that you heard today, um, please feel free to reach out and ask any, anything that you may need. Um, once again, I'd like to thank you for listening to the podcast this month. And, and hopefully you'll be listening to us again next month. Have a great month of April.